So you can see there the video tutorials that we have, just picture in picture, just shows up, just so you can keep the gameplay moving. And then today, in the demo that we're showing here at E3, we've got four different uh, stages from the game. Uh, this is the, um, well, you know, the kind of the, the, your, your, your medium large knack, if you, if you will, you know, as he, as he runs and fights through. So hang on, so I'm going to do another special move, which is the, there you go, big area attack. Yeah, that's good stuff. And it's quite easy to pull off, you know, once you, once, once you, once you get into it. So, coming up now, is uh, a completely different style of gameplay. So here, this is what, you know, what we call the stealth knack. So this is when he's small, but he's only made out of transparent parts. And you can see, if you're looking at the floor there, you just see that every one of those objects, you know, as he's knocking them around. So here, it means that because he's transparent, those laser beams are not gonna hurt him. So that means he can open the door to let his friends through, but he's got hardly any health, right? So what you need to do is to use triangle to bring all the relics back again and now you can get back into the fighting. Well, I mean, you know, Mark's the director, you know, it's, it's his baby. Um, you know, but you've got, you know, a great team in Japan, you know, a lot of really talented guys who've worked on a lot of other titles before. Okay, so here we're picking up, so you can see here as well, we have different relics you can pick up. In this case, if you pick up 20 of them, you can actually have a different knack for when you play through the game a second time. So, and then, so you have Vampire Knack, Sunstone Knack, and there's, there's other versions as well which we're not showing today. But, Obviously, yeah, keep your powder dry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we have to have something to, to something else to talk about in the coming months. Uh, there's there's so much more, uh, you know, to reveal as we as we get closer to launch. So here we go. Okay. So as I say, this, you know, we're showing a lot of different styles of gameplay today. Um, you know, and and with this, it's just a, you know, there's a very involving story to it. Um, which we're going to reveal more, as we say, you know, in the upcoming the upcoming months and weeks, getting quite closer to launch. Yeah, I but, do like the character design a lot, I have to say. Yeah? Oh, that's good. Because there's so many different versions of him, you know? Uh -huh. uh, whether he's tiny or huge or, you know, you'll see actually in the next section uh, where there's ice, and you can, what you can do is absorb icicles. So we'll just get through to this next section. But you can see there, you know, in terms of the light, the way it goes through the character, you know, that it is really so much you know when you're when you're playing it up close and you can see it uh, there's so much to the game so much to the character so we'll just get through this section and show you some different gameplay oh. and just to say that while you know while we're making sure the game is plays really accessible this is not a pushover game if you're playing this oh there you go yeah that's nice so that's sort of helping you helping you out with the dodging um, because I failed so it's trying to help me out yeah it's just it's just signposting it a bit for me because because I just died. So oh, I, I should actually be using super moves. Actually, I'm too I'm too busy talking. But while easy is something that anybody could play, and we want it to be accessible. You know, we want everybody to be able to play it. When it's on hard, you know, it is hard. It genuinely, you know, the timing has to be very precise. You really have to know what you're doing. It's going to be a very much a challenge. This is not going to be a pushover game. Uh, so it is really a game for all different skill types, all different kinds of players. I mean, it looks like an insomnia game, and I mean that in, obviously, not my means of saying it. I mean that as a compliment, the big one. Sure, in, that, in the sense of being as, as widely appealing as the sort of character action games. That you, yeah, but, you know, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, you know, the Ratchet franchise is one I worked on for many years. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I, I produced, uh, for Europe anyway, I was the European producer on the first four uh, PS2 Ratchets. Um, just on Q4 as well. Uh, so, so this is, you know, it's really great to be working on this. You know, this is familiar territory. Um, so, oh, let's do another. So this is the storm. Okay. Yeah. 